Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Lucid Nine. I am the Outback Al. I'm Hot for Justice. I'm Jin and Young. I'm Chibi Noob. And I'm Envy Jitters. It's been a fucking minute. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. Yeah. I'll turn down the mic a little bit. But we're back here. We're back at Lucid Nine. So what was happening last time? Were we a murderer? Uh, I think we were. We were certainly being accused of being oh, a murderer. Well, we were talking to the teacher. Oh, great. In our head. Uh-huh. We were going a little oh, nuts, we were, weren't we? We were, we were somewhere in, what is it? Mine Castle? Something like that? Mine Palace? Some something. kind of something. What? <laughs> it's a, it, oh it's my a god. That's like months and months ago. Yeah, it's been since like August, you guys. August. Ugh. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's go. Let's get into it. Wow. Oh god, what were we asking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just give me a second to think about this. We were we were um we were, were, we, were we doing something. About the murder yes. Yes. <laughs> Envy with the win. Uh we were trying to figure out what we should be thinking about. What was what was significant? About about murder? Oh, the was deaths? It, was it like the was it like the subway kid that died and you're trying to figure out if, if you know, I, innocent or something like that. Or? I mean, we're trying to prove that we're innocent. I think it's the one who looked like you two. Where, where they think we pushed him in front of the train. Yes. No, we oh, definitely didn't push him in front one. of the yeah, train. Yeah, that was something. That else. was that was Yahiko who was yeah, was pulling for that. The other where, one. I, um, oh, the one that jumped in the river. No. Wasn't like, there one that was like inside? I think we're trying to connect all these together somehow. Okay. Like all the murders. Yeah, I think that's what we're talking about. So, so would it be the time of death? Because they all happen between a certain hour. Part of me thinks, I don't know for sure because I don't remember. It's been like, <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, it's been like almost five months yeah. since we played this. This is what happens when you play a mystery game and then you don't play for a while. Yup. Does it matter which one we choose? Maybe we can ask all of them. Like, we'll just go that is a good maybe. point. That I'm not. Point. I don't remember that this is like a significant thing. Mm-hmm. Time of death could be. Are you looking it up where we were last time? <laughs> maybe. Do it. We can. We can discuss each of these things. So, time of death. What is the time of death? So, the time of death, <laughs> at least for the school murders, they were all between. Like after curfew and before school started the mm-hmm. next day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, and then method of death, there was the one in the woods. That one was. Most stabbed. of them were stabbed. Most of them were stabbed, yes. So, there was? Curfew. No one drowned in the river. We, we saved someone from drowning. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. And then the one in the train was a completely different matter altogether. It seems that way. And there was whoever we were standing over in the alley. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of, I think. Mm. Yeah, so the method for that one was also stabbing, I think. I don't know that there's a whole lot to go off of there, but... Uh, okay, let's see what we're talking about. We are... Yeah, let's see where we were. Maybe we should have looked this up before we started the game. So then yeah. I put the phone in my apartment, blah, blah, blah. Right. There had to be someone who knew about the uh, plug-in phone. Just someone close to me because they can access my apartment. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Very few people of those. When you're basically saying that's great, why is it taking so long? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, these playthroughs are very long. Yeah, we've been doing this for a while. We're also padding this episode, I think, a little bit. But. <laughs> I mean, we are taking about, like, what? A couple minutes? Or five minutes? Maybe you know, tops. we've been waiting four months. We can wait another two minutes to figure out where we were. <laughs> He's like, could it be me? Uh, uh, then how did you lure the victims out even though you weren't close to them? Or why didn't you remember taking the phone from Haru or removing its battery or putting it in your drawer? Right. Mm-hmm. Balance okay. of probability remains that you would have remembered at least one of those events. Uh-huh. Even so, we are not seriously entertaining this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde play kid. I was gonna go with Tyler Durden, but whatever. You know you're on metaphor. Teach their own. The lapses are a problem with your memory, not your behavior. Okay. I, it could have changed since then. Skip to where we were. Okay. Like, a, like it should be like near the end. Let's see. Uh. We just need to know the question. Great, let's go to party. Okay, well, what's the question? It's not gonna be kids. Another weird thing about Haru's case that you need to remember. Happen to know what it is? Okay, there we go. Who is Haru? 
Was that the... <laughs> yeah. Uh, was that the one in the alleyway? Maybe? I feel like that was the one with the train there. No, oh, because everyone knows what happened there. Oh, he okay. fell on the tracks and, and Yahiko got off, so. Who's the nine Haru? Haru yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bunya. Don't look up like a, a walkthrough, I'm but. I'm not, I'm just looking up who, who this person you? is. Oh, okay. Like what their character was and how they're related to the game. This is taking us a while. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> just cut this part. Maybe. Uh, side note, his girlfriend is a whore. Thanks. What? <laughs> Some people were very judgy on this wiki, apparently. Don't blood shame her. We don't know her. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm I'm no Maybe we did know her. <laughs> Maybe we did know her. Still, though, that's not nice. <laughs> well, life's not nice. <laughs> I guess maybe maybe the location. Um, Here's the thing. Everyone seems he? to have been stabbed. Everyone seems to have stabbed. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. This must be the guy who, like... Because up to this point, every all of them had been girls. This is a guy, right? This is the guy whose girlfriend got killed, found in the woods, and then he jumped in the river, and then we pulled him out, and then he we found him dead later. Yeah, he was in the woods too. Okay, he was also. In the woods. So not Damn location. It. Damn it! I it has to be this. time of death because spoiled. the method is always <laughs> oh, <no>. the same. <laughs> the location is always the same. It has to be the time. Wait, do you know who's the villain? I know. Dude, I, yeah, told I, I told you not to look. I told you not to look. It's us. We know it's us already. Fuck. All right, I, know. I know who it is. It was Shorty McShort Pants. Hello. Yeah. All right, let's... Uh... No, no. It was Shaggy. <laughs> no, no. Oh, my God. It was me. <laughs> All right. I listed the time of death. Because this has to be it. Time of death. We'll try that. Did he die at an odd time? I don't know. Did he? <laughs> well, did the other victims die really late at night? I don't know. Did they? Or you're you're, you're so much help. Haru died earlier than that, I think, right? How would you know? I don't know. Did he? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Ryota. Mr. Ryota. I can't tell you the answer, kid. I can only help you along the way. So why are the authors here? <laughs> Risotto? Yeah, I don't know. Well, then, since I lapsed after the train accident, I left my apartment when it was really late. It probably was around the same time as the other victims. Well, then, there you go. Uh... Thanks for nothing, you useless old man. Yeah. Yeah, really, though. Oh, we didn't ask all of them. Okay, well, didn't God, we wasted God. all that time and you got spoiled yeah. for the end for <laughs> nothing. Damn it! All right. Hit the method of death and see what happens. I'll erase it from my memory. <laughs> he was killed with a different weapon. What? What? Was he? Uh, I, uh... Well, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that he was cut to death like the others. Wah, Great, wah. I really don't need that image in my head right now. There's something that's really out of place with Haru's death, kid. Think harder. Location. Oh, he was in an alley. Yeah. He was killed in an alley in District 6. See, that's what I said. You guys told me he was in the forest. I didn't say that. Who said it was in the forest? I did. <laughs> <laughs> My dude, we were onto it and then we weren't. And then he... Well, at first I said, is that the kid who's in the alley? And then I said, oh, just kidding, he's in the forest. I don't know what is going on with my head. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know what's going on with his head. We'll see you guys next time now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you yeah. killed in District 6. Yeah. All right. Good, good. And... It's I don't a, think that's a good thing. <laughs> he was a murder. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> it's, it's a place with too, with too many potential witnesses around. Even though the forest has police on patrol, it's not like they can secure a large portion of it, much less the entire forest. He probably knows the forest like the back of his hand. He could have easily snuck around there. A sad truth, but good. Although it would have been risky to take a screaming victim to an area swarming with personnel. Would the forest have been swarming with personnel two days ago? No, there was a major police-related event. No, there was a pr prominent accident somewhere else. Yes. Two what was happening ago? two days ago? <laughs> the train? Well, the train did happen. That's true. I mean, yeah, there will probably be some police presence for that if a kid died on the tracks. Uh, this one? I'll try it. The police can't be everywhere at once. Oh. Why was there a, a, a question mark next yeah! to Mr. Ryota's name? I don't know. 
that day was also the day of Shoji ha- Hazagawa? Hazagawa's death, right on the subway tracks. Then I can't imagine that the group at the forest would be anything more than a skeleton crew. Well, technically, those would be two entirely different divisions. Mm, One, one's with violent crimes, the other is probably with civil affairs or something. Uh, why would... Okay. Usually, Maybe. yes. But I, but it might have been reported as murder. There you Ishiko go. did get pulled in. Yeah. Yeah. Ihiko was arrested and interrogated for it. Yep. Did you see how easily he walked out of it? Must have been a witness interrogation, not as a suspect. Well, tell of that, or his parents were influential enough to. Yes. Okay, okay, we're getting off topic here. Are uh, we? No, Let's just, are we, Mr. Ryota? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just settle it like this. It's likely that it was handled by the Violent Crimes Division because it involved the death of another Academy student in the wake of multiple student disappearances. Furthermore, there were three witnesses at the scene. You, Yihiko, and Rui, and all of you are also Academy students. It was Rui. Happy? Ah, <laughs> uh, why did I think of that? You just did. <laughs> all in your head. So, why does that matter? The forest was still a fairly viable option, and at the very least it would be away from overly inquisitive citizens. Then why was Haru still murdered in District 6? I guess it means that the killer wasn't entirely in charge of the circumstances. Things didn't happen according to his plan. When do they ever? So then the question we must ask is this, why and how was Haru murdered? I can't answer all that. You're killing me over here, kid. Fine, I'll rephrase it. Remember how every victim previous logged in for curfew before they disappeared? Uh, yeah. But Haru didn't. He was away from school even before curfew taught it. Told, told. I, I can't read. <laughs> I, I can't read. <laughs> See something weird? Besides the obvious break in pattern. Holy smokes, kid. The pattern is on. Why would the killer kidnap students after curfew? Let's say I'm your everyday Joe. Well, your everyday psychopathic Joe. I need to kill a couple people here and there, and for reasons unknown. It has to be a bunch of kids at the super uptight private school. When would I choose to strike? After curfew? Tell me why that's an obvious disadvantage, ignoring the obvious security problems. It would... Take place in a hard-to-see dark campus, limit the suspect pool, delay sleeping patterns. Limit the suspect pool. Yeah. It would have to be someone with access. Because security locks down on the school af- after curfew, only a few people can be in and up- be out and about. The suspects would be limited to students or maintenance staff like the janitor or security team. Good, good. Hardly ideal circumstances for a killer. So, pretty safe to presume that he wouldn't act after curfew unless he absolutely needed to. Which means that Haru Bunya missing curfew was his own choice, because if the killer kidnapped him before curfew, then why didn't he do so to the other students? Oh my god, guys. Guys. Unless this time was an exception. (laughs) What's wrong with your eyes? I just haven't worn my glasses in a while, because I'm constantly wearing a mask at work, and... Everything is so much clearer now. <laughs> yeah, I got you need it. some contacts. <laughs> I know. Hey, everything can be an exception. You'll never get a working theory that way. Now, let's think about this. Haru skips curfew while the killer is confined. Night falls. Unlike the other victims, Haru is out of school, but still ends up being killed. He probably thought that he would be safer if he wasn't confined to curfew. Oh no, you don't think that. You think he went to look for the killer. There's no proof of that. I wouldn't say that. It's easy enough to stay safe in public. 24-hour fast food restaurants with CCTVs, public hospitals, even the police department, for crying out loud. The killer might know the school security system like the back of his hand, but he can't control all of Isamu. And Haru didn't seem like this. And Haru didn't seem like the stupid type. Just so. Coincidence? Probably not. Good boy. Yee. <laughs> but... But if that's the case, why wouldn't he tell any anyone his suspicions? Because he was suspicious of everyone at the school! You tell me. Because he didn't have any? He was just going to tell the first guy who left the school? And on that note, why didn't he notify the police if he was going to take such a risky action? Because they would have stopped him. Why wouldn't he notify the police? 
Why wouldn't he indeed? This is what you want me to feel. Correction, this is what you want you to feel. No, this is what you want you to feel. This is what you want me to feel. Because I have to understand what Haru is thinking. You only don't understand Haru because you're distancing yourself too much. It's time to get real, kid. Check that phone of yours. Check my phone. The phone. I stumble out of my concentration in a disoriented mess. Still in the subway, which is now completely empty, how long have I been thinking? I peer around the abandoned platform, nothing but the soft flickering of dim lights. Well, I guess it makes sense this isn't exactly a major station. A dull vibration in the pocket of my pants redirects my attention. Ah, that's right, my phone must have been vibrating all this time. From Shigure, probably, to lure me someplace or another. Or some teacher to warn me on my absence. Maybe even a friend who's wondering where I've been. Friend, they don't have friends. No. <laughs> it probably was vibrating from the moment I entered the subway. Vibrating insistently. Commotion. I tend to shut it out when I'm overwhelmed. Distancing myself from reality, as Mr. Ryota would call it. Childhood trauma, learned behavior, coping mechanisms. Ah, that's where we were. One moment, the, we were in a coping mechanism? <laughs> <laughs> One moment the world is there, and the next, it's just me, alone with the figureheads inside my brain. Exactly where we were. A character, a caricature of Mr. Ryota to help me think better. How come I've never seen him do this before? Because the circumstances were never extreme enough? I mean, we've been acute. We're, we're like being hunted right now. I guess right now. that's the worst. Yeah. Or a caricature of Rui to stabilize my emotions. Such extremes haven't been necessary for years. After all, what, what excitement happens in high school? Gossip, relationships, bullying? I'm probably more of a bully than anyone else now. <laughs> in my head. But now I'm distant. I feel it in myself. Something hollow, cold. Something that apparently couldn't even notice the vibration of my own phone. Well, guess I eventually noticed. I humor myself and scroll through the notifications. Daily, mundane life, I expect. It's almost midnight. Think we got another weird email? No. Oh god, what was her voice like? <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Sarge, hate to disturb your thousand year slumber, but have you seen your destined princess? What? See, she sees it too. Dude, have you seen Rui? Where's oh, Rui? No. Oh no, she's dead, isn't she? No. Is Rui with you? <laughs> Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Rui and my after school respond to you, say me. <laughs> Rui's missing. I don't even realize it, but my fingers weaken and my phone slides through the space between my knuckles and turns over end over end. Clatters to the ground, the shrill impact of fine glass against concrete echoes down the hall, utterly abandoned passage in which I sit. Rui, missing. Rui is missing. Starts out as a disappearance three times, a disappearance from school, a mysterious vanishing after a logged curfew. No one can find them, no one can contact them. Phones are tracked and found in garbage disposal, CCTV footage returns up corrupted or deleted or looped. Then they found, then the bodies are found. Peeled, sliced, ripped apart, the mutilated remains of what was once a human being. Great. <laughs> what if one of those bodies, one of those victims, someone who gave terrible, rending screams that only went unheard, was Rui. <laughs> Waking up in the cold dark, greeted by a pale, croaking voice, seeing nothing but the sheen of a blade in the moonlight, something that saw, that saw us through flesh. I force a shaky breath into my lungs and my chest constricts. The world pulses. Rui is the next victim. An afternoon disappearance. Another break in the pattern. One more shaky breath. My vision spins. Rui is with the killer. With someone whose mask is perfect. Who disappears without a trace. Who eludes the police without effort. Like everything is just a game. Someone who isn't caught by an army of highly trained officers of law enforcement. Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Someone whom I could never dream of catching. Rui is going to die and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just a 17-year-old kid hiding in the subway like a homeless beggar, a refugee from the police custody. Rui's smile, her teasing, her nagging, gone just like that. Another figure and who entered my life only to leave me, violently ripped away before, my, before her time. Another person who deserves to live so much longer. 
Unless it is Rui. Uh, uh, hey, pull yourself together. Oh, it's me. Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> yes, this is how I sound in your head. Great. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Nani? Nani? Moving around doesn't help anyone. If you want to be useful, then be useful. Uh, Lizzie? Uh. Figures I'd see you. You like to challenge me. Guess this time wouldn't be any different. Mm. So, things aren't hopeless then? What amazing advice do you have for me? Okay, you little shit. <laughs> this comes almost mockingly. A crushing weight has filled the space that was once empty in shock. I have nothing left but sarcasm and cynicism. Oh, it's back. In response, a little bit, 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 a little a little bit, 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 a little a little a location a Mm. We're not even close. Not only that, but there was barely any time between the location ping and and his death. So, somehow, in his last moments, just before he died, he decided to send a location ping to me. I fervently rack my brain for an answer. Would Haru really do that? Would he really put the fate of his life on me? No. no had to be the killer. Yeah. I scan through the flowcharts of no known ways people socialize in my head, but it turns out <laughs> <laughs> how do socialize? Me no no. How my, do people? Me brain freeze. <laughs> I can't see beyond the mental image of stumbling on Rui's body, cold and bloody, mouth open and, and the last remnants of a scream. No. Haru. Location ping. Why would he send it? Why would... He didn't. Blood. Terror, the crashing, crushing force of water. No, stop, must think. I force all of the habits from ex excessive therapy sessions into practice. Deep breaths, tall spine, tense all muscles, and relax slowly from top to bottom. Her life is at stake. We could die any minute. Maybe she already has. Or maybe she's cramped up in whatever sick place a psycho has, waiting and dreading the moment when nothing will be, in, be on her mind but excruciating pain. Damn it! Oh. Mr. Ryota bleeds into Elizabeth, flickering for a moment, then bleeds into Masaki. Mama. I can't do this anymore, Miki. Please, just leave me alone. I know this is hard, but right now, you're the one who has the best chance of finding the killer. Because of this damn phone? <laughs> you know what? Fine. I can't handle this on my own. I'm giving it to the police. Yeah, but they'll find out I'm not the real killer. But they have to trust your word that someone else put that phone in your apartment, rather than you taking it from Haru himself. It could take days, maybe weeks, to clear the situation, even if you are eventually found innocent. And by that time, Rui will be dead. Uh. Miki, please, help me. Rui, don't you love Rui? She... She needs us. In that case, do you remember whether someone sent you an out-of-place location ping? I received and sent too many damn location pings to keep track of. Maybe you can narrow it down? Or maybe you can start using your head. <laughs> Before Haru Banya, there was someone was there someone else who accidentally sent you a location ping? Actually, now that she mentions it, I remember something! And we'll find out what it was next time. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. And feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time.